I guess you're wondering how I got into this sketchy situation. Well, let me take you back to 2015, where I had an opportunity of a lifetime to travel to South Africa to meet up with some good friends, Warren and Nicole Klein at Bushveld Reptiles. These guys specialise in African snakes. And I tell you what, African venomous snakes are some of my favourite snakes of all. And to see some of these beauties was absolutely amazing. Not only did I get to see the gaboon, and vipers and a lot of other cool stuff and I mean even the puff adders were awesome but I got to play with a black mamba. Not just playing with a black mamba, a captive black mamba, but playing with it out in the open where you start to get to see its true naturalistic behaviours and you start to appreciate these animals for exactly what they are. Whenever I get to deal with a new venomous snake that I really haven't had much experience with, I typically like to get them out in the open where I can see what these animals will really act like, see their true behaviour. So at the moment, this guy was uh, sitting under a hide, all coiled up nice and tightly. And all I'm doing here is basically straightening him out. Now, black mambas are typically a very alert, active species very large bodied venomous snakes as you can see. There is some controversy about using tongs on venomous snakes but um, as you can see here all I'm using the tongs for is to manipulate the animal and move them and these tongs are actually very sensitive so you can feel everything in these tongs and this is a typical method that they use for handling venomous snakes in Africa. So just like everyone else when in Rome do as the Romans do and um, all I'm doing here is just trying to get a bit of a handle for the snake and you can see instantly the tail of the member wraps around my wrist. This definitely makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. The typical threat display of a black mamba usually opens its black inky looking mouth, spreads its narrow neck flap and sometimes hisses very loudly. It's also capable of striking a considerable range and occasionally may deliver a series of bites in rapid succession. Now you can see there's a better grip on the tail right here, um, not allowing the snake to wrap itself around my wrist, basically holding me for ransom. You can see how they blend into their natural environments. These guys would be lightning fast, just like uh, the equivalent to the Australian coastal taipan. The venom of the black mamba is extremely toxic. It's also composed of neurotoxins and cardiotoxins, which are specifically designed to attack heart muscles. Spectacular animal. Lightning fast when they're super hot. I tell you now, so lucky to be playing with this beautiful, placid animal at the moment. I'd hate to try and catch one of these in the wild when they're super hot. That would be just like dicing with the devil right there. That is just an awesome that creature. Stuff. What a beauty. <laughs> you can see the animal moves around and it's right about here the animal starts to get a bit excited and comes up. Now, right at that point there, everyone was probably thinking that's when I'm going to get bitten. Well, at no time did I think the animal was going to bite because the animal is an arboreal snake, it likes to climb. So therefore when you're holding a snake upside down for long periods of time, you can imagine the stress it puts on the heart and the brain with the blood flow. So the animal needs to basically get up as quick as it can and make itself feel a bit more comfortable. Now that's all I think that the animal was doing. Now whenever we film anything with these venomous snakes, we've always got professionals behind the scenes um, just to make sure the animals are always safely treated and to make that sure that nothing bad will ever happen, I guess, to anyone else on the set. Um, I always take my own risks. 